National identity, whether purposefully or not, is an element included in most literature of any genre or time period. By analyzing this literature, we can develop a better understanding of what it was like emotionally to live in that time period, and a better understanding of how we should see the world of our present and future. The following is an analysis of The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson from This Angle. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is the tale of Mr. Utterson, a serious, respectable lawyer who discovers that his friend Dr. Jekyll harbors a grave secret. The quote-unquote good doctor, who suffers of guilt from a sinful past, has attempted to separate his good side from his evil, but in turn developed an alternate identity, a certain Mr. Hyde, who wreaks havoc on the prone city at will. Robert Louis Stevenson was a British romantic author. During this time period, city life began to sprout up. Most authors lived in the city, and most publishers were centered there as well. The majority of literature from this time period ironically shies away from portraying urban life, but Stevenson faces it head-on as a growing urbanization is a problem that he perceives in the world around him. Throughout the book, dark and light are used in contrast to depict instability and juxtapose the two sides of society. Dr. Jekyll is often associated with light, but Mr. Hyde is shrouded in darkness. Likewise, London is much friendlier in the daytime than in the evening. In the beginning of the book, for example, the market is depicted as bright and familiar, but the scene turns far more grim and evil when Mr. Utterson crosses by the back of what we discover to be Dr. Jekyll's laboratory, which is gray and misplaced in appearance. He relates the first story of Mr. Hyde in this location, and thus begins a constant cycle of dark and light. This corresponds almost directly to the theme of city versus country, which is far closer to the heart of the matter. The actual storyline takes place in London, during the time period in which it was written. The city is shown as cramped and often ominous, all the houses looking indistinguishable, and dark corners here and there for evil to lurk in. With each nightfall comes the London fog, which historically was a thick haze caused by pollution from the fireplaces of too many people crammed close together in an urban and scantily vented setting. Such a fog sets the scene for the night that Mr. Utterson follows Dr. Jekyll's butler to the laboratory to face up to the evil that the doctor has become. In contrast, the nature of parks and sunshine are always displayed as positive relief. In one particular scene, Mr. Utterson describes Dr. Jekyll's sitting room as one of the most pleasant rooms that he has ever been in. Said room has a rustic country theme to it, and Stevenson spends quite a time elaborating upon this specific fact. In a society that has traditionally romanticized the country and focused on agriculture, urban society is quite the opposite notion. In the case of The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Robert Louis Stevenson uses the country to represent tradition, and the city to represent modern culture. This is seen most clearly in the fact that Dr. Jekyll is associated with the country and tradition, while Mr. Hyde lives in the inner city, in an area that is described as being predominantly home to immigrants. To Stevenson, this demographic would have represented a modern influx of change and a deviance from traditional British values. His defense of rural settings but representation of city life as unnatural and evil shows that he admits that British society seems to be traveling in a modernized direction, filled with urbanization and industry, but he would ra much rather return to tradition. The fact that Mr. Hyde dies at the end shows Stevenson's fears that this shift from older values might be the downfall of the UK as a whole.